Welcome back. Well, the Imagination Station isn't just for kids, especially this weekend. The Downtown Toledo Science Center is throwing a party and you are invited. Carl Nelson from the Imagine State Imagination Station is here to preview The Bash. Hey, Carl. Yeah. Hello. Well, today, you know, uh, during The Bash, we'll do all sorts of interesting science stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of crazy. May, might not be totally related to The Bash, but I was wondering about diapers. Okay, and actually how diapers you? work. <laughs> it's the kind of things I think about, right? Okay. So I thought we'd do a quick little experiment here. I'm excited, a little demonstration show me. To uh, see how diapers work. Um, so we got a diaper, we got some water, because everybody knows diapers can hold an enormous amount of water, right? Okay, right, right. right. So we need some water to start with, and then I think we need like this little flimsy card. And what I need you to do is hold, can you hold this for me? I sure can. But, yeah, okay, but yeah, be careful, <laughs> be careful this way. Okay. And just so the camera can get a good shot, if you could just put that on your head, okay? <laughs> Are you serious? Now, the diaper that you put in the cup should be absorbing all the water. Okay. Right? <laughs> There's water on my head. Except we forgot the diaper. Oh, no, Carl. The <laughs> okay, I kind of messed up here. So <laughs> what I need is I need the card back. <laughs> and, okay, so you were completely safe. <laughs> what I did, I kind of faked you a little bit. Before, before I added the water, I actually ripped open a diaper and put inside oh, the my gosh. super absorbent polymer. Go ahead and grab that. Wow. Woo! It's a super absorbent polymer that can absorb up to 800 times wiggly. its weight in water. And it's, it's kind of like wiggly like a gel, like you're saying. <laughs> um, but that's sort of the secret behind diapers and why they can hold so much water. Wow, and, um, and why they get so heavy. And why they get so heavy, yeah. exactly. And during the bash, we're going to be using polymer stuff like this as sort of sciencey decorations throughout the building. So okay? it's a really cool way for adults to kind of reconnect themselves with that science stuff that they loved as kids. Absolutely. I love it. You can just throw that down. Right okay. <laughs> but, so this is a super absorbent polymer. It's one kind that makes a gel, but you can also sort of tweak that polymer so that it doesn't turn into a gel, but mm -hmm. so it stays into individual little uh, spheres, if you will. Oh, cool. And so I see the little bit of powder I have in here, right? Yeah. We're going to add this water to this container. This, this is the same as this? It's the same compound, um, but it's been polymerized in a slightly different way. So the way you manufacture it can have very different properties. Let's just go ahead and add some water here. Let's do it. Promise it won't get you wet. I now, <laughs> this compound is called instant snow, because what happens is when it starts to absorb that water, instead of turning oh into a goodness. block, it turns into tiny, tiny little spears. Stick your hand in there, feel and it. And look how much. What does it feel like? Ooh. It's kind of soft and fluffy. It's so nice, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so on movie sets, they'll use yeah. this as like artificial snow or even on indoor um, snowboarding parks because this stuff is very slippery when it gets on the ground. This is awesome. But you must know I'm, I'm from <laughs> Buffalo. <laughs> I do, yes. So this is very familiar <laughs> for you, right? Yes, just like home. <laughs> now, wow. you would think you know diapers That's and nice. snow parks and things like that are places where you'd see this super absorbent polymer, but you see it other places too. And yeah. you were pointing out my... Uh, my ginormous grow lizard the here. The grow a lizard. <laughs> you probably had one of these as a kid, right? I'm you, sure we all did, yeah. You throw it in water, and it, it does the same sort of thing. This is polyacrylamide, which is a little bit different. And if you can help okay. me out by of course. dipping your hand down in there, pull out what's inside this beaker. Just, it looks like nothing, right? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So go ahead and throw them in the bowl over there so they can get a... <laughs> it's just, it's crazy. They're like, and these are some of the things we're using as demonstrations for the bash as well. Um, they are like little spheres of super absorber. They They're start so cool. out. They start out smaller than like the eraser on the end of a pencil, and over time they will swell up. Now the cool thing too, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll get that later. <laughs> the, the cool thing is that since they're like 99% water, when you drop them in the water, you really, you basically, you can't see them. Yeah, no, right? I didn't realize there was anything in there in the first place. In fact, that you can even get them. How neat! This is kind of fun. Uh, as cubes. Oh my gosh! I thought these were ice cubes. They are not. They're actually the polyacrylamide. Oh. Um, same sort of stuff as the grow creature. And these started out as cubes about a quarter of an inch. Okay. So they can absorb up to like a hundred times uh, their uh, volume in water. And you said this is just all water mainly? It's 99.9% .9 water in there. Wow. And again, that's why uh, for the science people, you know, the index refraction is the same. Yes. So when you drop them in there, you can't see it. These I've colored with the ink from a highlighter. Oh, cool. Very so cool. They actually kind of fluoresce under black light. So that's kind of a cool effect as well. Carl, that's amazing. So all sorts of cool stuff like this um, we'll have throughout the building during the bash as well, just to, you know, talk about some cool science. Um, decorations and lots of fun stuff. That sounds so great. Well, the bash is Saturday night, right? Yep. It's right at the Imagination Station, downtown Toledo. Tickets are $85, but I would say it's worth it. You can dress business casual in lab coats. Mm. You can. Optional. <laughs> but for more information, you can just log on to our website, WTOL.com.
Coming up next, we are going to have an excellent segment with Tina with the fall leaves turning colors. It's the perfect time of year to decorate. We have some great ideas on how to bring some of that color into your home. Stay with us.